Continuing on in the Phil Rice book of 1858, I'd like to summarize quickly what we've done so far in the previous two uh, lessons. We're talking about the action in the right hand of how to uh, strike the strings, and also pull-offs in the left hand. These are the most basic elements of the stroke style. So to summarize that, um, we get our hand in the uh, stroke position that and we did the half strike which is the first finger straight down like that half strike full strike the strike and a half and the double strike so once again half strike full strike strike and a half and a full strike and here are the examples of the uh, pull-offs in the triplets which is on page 13 and it's called uh, the fifth example a triple so we have a half strike on the first string and then you pull the note off I'm pulling off from the second position to the open string combined in a triplet figure there's two triplets here you get this as soon as I've done that pull off, I set myself up for a strike there. So it's a pull off, and then you do a, ends up being a double strike. The next example is is uh, kind of the same, except I'm starting from the uh, third position there. Same thing, half strike. strike. And the last example on page 13 shows us a, a half strike on the second string and then a pull off on the first string without even uh, setting the string in motion with the right hand. It's just like a plucking motion in the left hand. Once again, after you do that, you still do a double strike within the context of a triplet rhythm. Okay, I'm going on to page 14 now, and this is going to wrap up the, the techniques of the right and left hand before it goes into uh, repertoire. So where it says the sixth example, it's simply going to be uh, this figure. So slowly we have yeah, two thumb strokes in a row. And that rhythm is a dotted rhythm. You got a dotted eighth and then a sixteenth note and then two eighth notes. That's why the rhythm uh, figure goes da 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 da. But you see the half strike, and then you're set up for the full strike there, and then just another thumb stroke. And we're going to see this rhythm figure used in the song Green Corn coming up in uh, one of the lessons. And the next figure is the same, the same right hand motion with uh, open strings. So I'll show you the left hand on the first example there was this then where it says the seventh example on page 14 we have this figure so once again half strike two thumb strokes and then the next example after that is the same figure with open strings so that looks like
like this. Okay, now you'll notice that when I do my half strike, sometimes my thumb is on my finger supporting it. Okay, and that's okay to do. Later on, that's going to be referred to as a hammer stroke and a technique within itself, but all you got to do is think of it as a half strike, but your thumb just touches the finger, and it just gives us some support. Okay, no big deal, but it really helps when you're doing half strikes on the inner strings. You try that out, and I think you'll find that it's a nice feel, and it just gives it a more relaxed support. Okay, and it has no interference with anything else you do. It's just supporting that first finger. And you can go immediately from a, you know, a strike and a half. If you need to do that. Um, so in conclusion, uh, I'd like to read word for word what it says on page 14. And it's a, a note from the uh, author of the book, and it says, It's not necessary to learn all the examples at the commencement, but if the beginner has a little patience, it would be better. All that's necessary is to learn the strike, the strike and a half, and the double strike. Everything else can be accomplished as you progress from tune to tune. So that, that's an important sentence where it says, All that is necessary is to learn the strike, the strike and a half, and the double strike. Everything else can be accomplished as you progress from tune to tune. I think by everything else they mean all the exceptions of uh, where the thumb will hit notes twice in a row, or you might have two, two, half, two half strikes and a pull off together, or whatever. But you can, you can summarize uh, every move by thinking of them as a half strike, strike, strike and a half, or a double strike. So once again, to summarize those moves, half strike, full strike, strike and a half, and a double strike. So I'd like to uh, wrap it up by playing the song that's actually entitled First Lesson, and it's Juba. I played it before, but I'd like to uh, just play the whole song so you can see the strike and a half and the double strike in action now. Okay, so I'll play it slowly first, and we'll play it up to tempo. So here is Juba. Full strikes. Strike and a half. Double strikes. seem like that's an exercise because of how you see a strike and then a strike and a half and then a double strike. But it actually is a song. It's just a song broken down uh, thinking of uh, the techniques that we've learned. So up to tempo, we got Juba sounding like this. up to page 15 in the Phil Rice Banjo Instructor of 1858.